Welcome back. Back, back. <laughs> back, back. Welcome back to another vlog. Hi. 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 Y'all, I'm, I'm going to VidCon today. I am pretty much packed and ready to go. Uh, Kenzie and I are leaving around 1.30. It's currently 10 a.m. So until then, I'm just gonna be soaking up my last bit of time with Grace, and then I'll switch into VidCon mode. All right, it is one o'clock. I got Grace down for her nap, and now I'm doing my makeup for VidCon. I, I am so excited. I have always loved VidCon. I've gone so many years. I've gone as a fan, I've gone as a creator. Last year, actually, was my first year going, um, like, invited as a featured creator, which was, like, always something I had dreamed about. It was super exciting for me. But VidCon last year was the same weekend as my brother's wedding. So I only went for the first day. And the first day was amazing. But this year, I'm going as a featured creator. And I'm going for four days, the entire time. I'm so excited. It is also the longest I've ever been away from Grace, so I'm a little bit nervous on that front. I just know I'm gonna miss her a lot, but I am so excited about this weekend. And Kenzie's coming with me, which is just gonna be so much fun. And I feel like, especially for us, since you know we've been friends since we were teenagers, doing big things like this always feels so monumental. Like if only teenage us could see us. It's so cool. Um, also, hold on, pause for a second, because I wanna talk about about this lip color I just got. It's from Natasha Denona. It's the shade Daphne. And I feel like this is the best a lip color has ever looked on me. Like it's a, a subtle mauve, but it's a little bit more pinky, which I feel like works better for my skin tone as a summer palette. I like it a lot. I'm probably gonna wear this every day at VidCon. <laughs> and it doesn't like clump or get sticky, even though it's a gloss. So it is perfect. Okay. I'm packing my makeup as I go. That's the last thing I have to pack. I'm gonna spray my face. We'll let that dry, then do some mascara. But yeah, this is gonna be a crazy fun VidCon vlog. I'm doing a lot of panels this year, which is gonna be really fun. I have quite a few creator friends who are going, who I'm so excited to meet up with. Also, Rachel is going, my amazing producing editor. She's driving down from LA right now. Uh, VidCon's in Anaheim, so it's actually kind of the in-between of San Diego and LA. So we're gonna be meeting up with her tonight. And then, oh, I, I can't remember if I said this. Steven is coming down on on Friday. Today's Wednesday, so he's gonna be here with Grace today and tomorrow. Then he's gonna be driving up Friday afternoon to do the last uh, like day and a half of VidCon before we come home Sunday. And uh, our nanny's coming to stay with Grace for those last two nights, so I know I don't have to worry. She will be in good hands. Oh, I'm putting on my mascara, and this is my first time wearing mascara since I got my lash perm. So I'm really interested to see what it looks like. I am still just like obsessed with the lash perm. I am loving it. I love like just how natural it looks, but also how much brighter it makes my eyes look without any makeup on. It's been amazing, but okay. Here it is with mascara. What do we think? I feel like I need to put a little more on this side because this side is like popping. With mascara, I feel like it almost looks like I have eyelash extensions. Okay, there you have it. Time to go get dressed, pack up the car, and drive to VidCon. A grande iced water and a birthday cake pop. Thank, Thank you. you. VidCon, here we go! Woo! Kenzie's first VidCon. My first VidCon. Wait, where do I go? Uh, left. <laughs> Mine are the front. By one pair. By one pair. I'm most excited about these ones. I just got them. They're like a cute little, like slightly healed loafer, but they were also listed on the comfort section on Nordstrom. So. That's so grandma of you. That is so grandma of me, but honestly. Why were you even looking there? That's the only place I buy shoes is on, I gotta click the little comfort box. All right, now that we are all settled in the room, we're doing some quick makeup touch-ups. I put on some jewelry as well. And uh, we're gonna head down to the lobby, get some food, maybe have a drink. And I think the lounges here, like the brand lounges are gonna be opening up soon. So we kind of want to check those out before the kickoff party tonight at 
eight. So that is the plan. We are dressed. We are ready. Well, uh, I'm dressed and ready. Are we dressed and ready? Yeah. We're dressed and ready. <laughs> cameras, we want cameras assembled. <laughs> oh, this is cute. Okay, this is the Instagram lounge. The very first one we're going into. Okay, denim jackets, customized denim jackets from YouTube might just be uh, the coolest gifted thing for VidCon this year. So freaking cool. It is 11 p.m. We just got back to the hotel. We had a lot of fun at the kickoff party, but we, we said from the start, we're gonna try to have an earlier night tonight. Still go and have fun and experience everything, but not stay out too late, um, since we wanna make the most of the daytime events at VidCon 2. And I have my first panel tomorrow. It's the first one that I'm moderating. It is all about the body confidence movement, the body positive community online. I'm very excited about it, and I wanna make sure that I I'm well rested, that I am ready to go. So we are all ready to de-glam, lay in our hotel beds and uh, watch HGTV and go to sleep. Kenzie's in the shower right now and then I'm gonna go in, wash my face off, do some skincare and everything. It is like illegal to look this cute going to bed. Like the, the set, the like heatless curls stop. I'm a jammies girl. <laughs> it's so cute, the little strawberries. What a way to end the night. The makeup's off, the HGTV is on, the blankets are cozy. Good night. Good morning, good morning. It is the next day. We are dressed, we are ready. Wearing this cute little green jumpsuit from Cider. I, I did a full face of makeup today, which is a little outside of my wheelhouse, but I I think, hopefully, it came out okay. So we're headed downstairs to go through some more of the lounges and there's supposed to be some breakfast options in some of them. So we'll see what's going on and then uh, head to the convention center. Hi, welcome. Hi. Hi. Ooh, can I do the cream hat? Thank you so much. Okay, the TikTok lounge is poppin'. It is so cool. It's like decorated, all galaxy themed, and then there's references to different TikTok trends everywhere. Like the more that I'm looking, the more that I see. And they have vegan breakfast quesadillas. What more can you ask for? Welcome to my party. Am I finally gonna achieve my dream of getting slimed? Wow, thank 
you so much. It's a latte of my face. I don't want to drink it. Is that like, is that cannibalism? <laughs> oh my God. So cool. How do you taste? <laughs> I taste delicious. Great. We have just been bopping around all of the different brand lounges and they have just, they all went all out. It is so cool. We could just wander around this area of the hotel forever. Right now, the YouTube lounge, this is gonna be our last stop. Grab some green juice, they have bagel bites. We're gonna hop in the shuttles over to the actual convention area. I've got my panel in about an hour. We're gonna see if we can walk the uh, main expo hall a little bit too. And um, there are also a couple panels this afternoon that I'm hoping to watch. It's been a fun morning. Gonna continue being a fun day. I just love VidCon, so fun. All right, we are backstage at VidCon. Literally behind the stage. I feel so cool. <laughs> this is like the, the real behind the scenes part of VidCon is yeah. like walking around behind the curtains and there's like random storage stuff everywhere. And it is almost time for my panel. So that's where we're headed to check in. Amplify stage, that's where we're headed. We're the first ones to check in at our little backstage green room here. This is where we'll be meeting and hanging with all of the other panelists before the panel starts because it's in 30 minutes. This is where I was like back stage here when you texted me that you were going into labor, going into labor. in 2019. Crazy. I was backstage. Full I circle moment. Yeah, literally, and here you are. Here, are. <laughs> here we go. It's amazing now how we've seen the space continue to change, and I think there's so much more work that needs to be done. I really do <laughs> feel like for me, it's just about being the representation I've always wanted to see. I think there's room for everyone at every table. I think that if you want to go out and get it, you should go out and get it, no matter what you look like, no matter where you come from. If you gain weight, if you lose weight, if your body changes, those consistent things about who you are will always remain. Yay! Thank you guys so much for coming. The panel was good, y'all. It was good, I was a little nervous, but all the other panelists were just so phenomenal. They made my work so easy. It was great. <laughs> we're making a little stop at the Plus Bus. They're doing a gifting here. Oh, this is so okay. cute. I'm like, let me think in my color palette to try yes. and like, narrow it down. <laughs> think summer. Okay, so we're trying on a bunch of stuff over at the Plus Bus, which is like a thrifted plus size resale shop. And they have a location in LA. And then they also have this like mobile RV with so many cute things. I'm wearing this dress right now from a brand called Bacall and I am obsessed. And they're giving it to me. I can't believe it. This is like so freaking gorgeous. I can't even believe it. So many cute things and all secondhand plus size. Are you kidding me? This is my dream. <laughs> We are dressed and ready for the TikTok party. So Look at those boots. 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 It's just Kenzie and I going tonight. Rachel's driving back to LA, but the party tonight, hosted by TikTok, okay. should be very cool. And the strapless bra is, uh, it's working well in this dress. Thank goodness, I, I literally got that the day before I left for VidCon. And this outfit just looks so much better and so much cleaner without my bra strap showing. But also like I'm fairly comfortable and the boobs look great. I'm thrilled. <laughs> Good morning, it is the next day. I'm so excited to show you this look. This is my favorite look that I planned for VidCon. Cause today I have two panels and one is on like the industry floor. So really about like the back end stuff of YouTube. And then one is on the creator floor. So like talking to other creators. So I was like, I'm gonna go like boss business bitch for day two. And I thought the slicked back bun would really uh, drive that home. I think it fits the vibe. Lighting's not the best, but 
but this is the outfit. I've got on these like wide leg dress pants, little matching black tube top, and then this green blazer that I think I want to wear more kind of like off the shoulder because I feel like this is a little bit too businessy, but the, the tube top crop top I think helps make it not quite so quite so serious, quite so buttoned up. But yeah, I, I love this outfit. I feel so good in this. We're gonna head downstairs, uh, grab some breakfast. And then most of today, pretty much all of today, we're gonna be over at the convention center because I have two panels, one before lunch, then one after lunch. And I think we're gonna stay over there after too and like see more of the convention area. But my first panel today is maybe the highlight of the whole event for me because I'm speaking on a panel with John Green and I like can't even believe it like I I've been a fan of his for over a decade a decade like I have been watching vlogbrothers videos since I was a teenager I've read every book I've watched so much crash course I've listened to so much dear Hank and John and like I'm speaking with John Green that's bananas i i'm gonna try to keep my cool but also like this is a big moment for little sierra <laughs> and i'm so excited here we go y'all your outfits are so cute are today you, look at the three of us we're such a, such a vibe <laughs> funny and cool in the Instagram lounge they have dedicated content people to help you shoot and edit reels in here and they have like lights that they're walking around and helping film people with they're like giving everyone content ideas we did this like strut video that they directed us in I'll put it right here so cute and cool we just came in here to get some coffee and maybe do a photo strip since the, we saw the booth yesterday but it was closed we ended up like just back shooting a bunch of super cute content we're off to my panel. And we had time to grab Starbucks in the lobby. It's a good day. We just got dropped off backstage, heading inside. Hello. Checking in for my panel. The Venn diagram of size inclusive and ethically made is very, very small. So as we started to explore merch options, I realized I'm just not comfortable putting my money and my, you know, brand into something that is you know hurting the people that are producing it about every day but like my list of youtubers i think about every day isn't even the people i watch really it's the people whose like um spatulas i use <laughs> i when i first started my merch i would feel like guilty for advertising it like almost like it yeah. was a sponsorship and like oh my god i don't want them to feel like they have to buy this yes. and you know this feeling like i i don't want anyone to feel pressure it became something that brought my community together and was an extension of what's important to me online merch is content that's so true we finished the panel it was good it was amazing oh, like thanks. phenomenal you did so good john green john green we were like telling him how we used to have a copy of looking for to, alaska like, we used to pass his books around and we would like all highlight different parts and like ugh. now we are headed downstairs to walk around i have an hour until i'm checking in for my next panel so we got some time to chill also i am vlogging on my phone but holding my camera because my camera battery died and i left the backup in the hotel room for probably 15 minutes exclusively talking about how much we love John Green. So much. It's like Harry Styles and John Green. <laughs> and TJ. And, and, and TJ, and TJ. What a, what a, what a range of men. Honestly. I don't have a type. Let's just put it that way. No, as like, as much as I like adore his content, you know, you're like, you never know what someone's going to be like in person. Like they can't be like that funny and witty and smart. No, no. more so. No, it was literally like watching a lot of Watching his talk, I was like, oh, he actually talks like that. Yeah, the best. We're in the golf cart. Uh, they're driving us over to the backstage lounge. I think it's Snapchat. Rumor is there's food. <laughs> so, oh, um, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, look at these little shooting areas. Oh, and there's a bathroom. Heck yeah. All right, on the way to panel number two today. 
Yeah. It comes 2023. Let's go. There isn't a, a huge surplus of people who have experience working for a YouTuber. So we've been able to hire some people who worked for other creators before, but mainly it's been finding talented people who understand the creator space and can take the skills that they've learned from other forms of media and apply that to the creator space. What a day, what a freaking day. It is 5.15, back at the room, um, kind of our first second to like chill, go through photos from the day, kind of reset for a second. I did the second panel, it was great. It was all about uh, building a team and hiring and managing a team and it was a really great conversation. And I honestly, I'm still just absolutely reeling from the fact that I got to hang out with John Green. I feel like I'm reliving all of this right now because I, I just posted a bunch of stories from today. Also, the pictures that we took in the Instagram lounge this morning. I just got those posted and they are so freaking hot. I love it. Also, the photo strip, absolute cutest. So tonight there is uh, like a creator party open house thing in the main expo hall. So they have like music and food and drinks and all the booths are open and we get to do all these fun activations. It was always one of those things that like going to VidCon on the fan side, I was like, I just want to know what goes on in that expo hall. When they let all the creators in it, Night. Like it just seemed so secretive. So I'm gonna take you guys along with, I'm gonna vlog it. And the only bummer is Steven is, was supposed to be here by now. He left um, San Diego around 2.30 or three and was gonna get here in time to do some of the lounges with us before that and then go to the expo hall party. And then after that is uh, like an Instagram event tonight. And he got a flat tire. He is stuck on the side of the road halfway to Anaheim. Um, the tire people just got there to fix it, so he will hopefully be back on the road soon, but I feel so bad for him. I'm so sad. I just hope he makes it to the expo hall thing, because he was like, that's like the one thing I really, really want to do, so fingers crossed. <laughs> okay, we came over to the YouTube lounge, and one of the things they have here is a YouTube manifestation wall. So they were doing portraits. They took your picture, and then you would write down like what your channel mission statement is, or what you're working towards and they put ours up from yesterday how cute is that thank you i love it we're here we're at the expo hall the place i always wanted to be when i wasn't invited <laughs> we are uh, we are still missing steven he is on his way supposedly pulling up to the hotel so soon close, so, so close. hopefully he'll be here soon i really want to do they have a giant pit of squishmallows and supposedly you can jump in it and grab one and that's right up her alley that is We got cute little kitty cats, and Steven's here, and he's with the Scories, so we're gonna go meet all of them. And dive into the depths of the Squishmallow pit. Woo! What'd you get? I don't know, but it's cute. <laughs> Look who it is! Finally. You have arrived! to jump into the Squishmallow pit. It's happening. Ready, set, I went in the Squishmallow pit and I hit the Squishmallow jackpot. The giant pink axolotl and the Still big, but smaller blue one. We're living the dream, y'all. So many Squishmallows. Also diving into that was the most glorious feeling. 10 out of 10. We're at the Instagram party. Woo! You about to post your first Instagram story in six months? <laughs>
All right, good morning. It is VidCon day three, the last day. Just got dressed. This is the outfit for today. Cute little denim dress from ASOS. And I am, I'm proud of myself. I did a fairly decent job of conserving my voice this week. I mean, it still sounds hoarse, but like I think every VidCon other than this, I've like completely lost my voice by day three. But I knew I had this last panel on, you know, the last morning and I wanted to make sure I could still actually talk and I did I'm, I'm so glad usually at this point I would be like barely croaking out like a few painful words but look at me jabbering away ready to go Kenzie just left she's headed back to San Diego this morning so it's just gonna be Steven and I for the convention today and uh he went down to get us some Starbucks so I could finish getting ready and now I am ready so I'm gonna go oh hey I said I was gonna go meet him, but here he is. Here you go, old oh, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Cheers. Cheers. All right, should we supposed to be down there in like 10 minutes? Yes. Spending that time with your friends and making the conscious decision to put the phone away for a little while, something that's really helped me is like shooting content if I want to, but not posting it in the moment, because that takes like half the time. Take it out, snap the picture, and then put it away, and you still, you know, are able to share your life and document the fun experiences that you have without it becoming, you know, 20 minutes of you sitting on your phone when you could be having really good quality time with your friends. That's another thing for me. I like, I tend to bank my content for everything in general. Steven's first lounge. This place is popping. The lounges close at noon today and my panel ended at 11. So we just got back to the hotel, it's like 11.30. And I'm gonna try and take Steven to a few of the coolest lounges before they close in literally half an hour. And now we're to? You two. Home sweet home. <laughs> we are back in the room. We just got back from all the craziness. We uh, we did Sierra's talk, which went really well. Yeah, it was it was good. It was on work life balance, and the panelists were really great. So I feel like it was just a pretty easy conversation. Yeah. I'm glad I made it for at least one. So yeah. that was cool. Um, and then we ran back here, did all the lounges because they're getting they're getting ready to close everything up, and you know that's probably going to take them forever to you know take down and get out of here. So we did that real quick, and now we're back up here, and now we're like starving. Yeah, there's like so no it's like food. This, this cruel balance of taking a moment to relax and like, oh, we should go eat. Yeah, my like, God, I would love to just like now that we have a moment, like all my programming done and stuff. Yeah. Just like lay in bed and decompress, but also I'm like so hungry. Yeah. So yeah, it'll be nice. And you know, I'm, <laughs> I feel tired, and I've been here for less than like, less than 24 hours. <laughs> <laughs> it's like but to be fair, that has been a chaotic 24 hours. Yeah, it's been chaotic. With it's your been... tire. And then we thought Steven was, well, the plan was that Steven was going to get here like a couple hours before the expo hall. So we'd have time to like chill, go to some lounges, yeah. yep. have a drink. And then lo and behold, <laughs> I'm late, I'm rushing, <laughs> I'm by myself trying to find, it's fine. You know, it's fine. It's fine. I'm glad I'm here. Yeah. Um, and then we went straight from that to the uh, Instagram party last night, which was wild. Yeah, that is, <laughs> yeah, that was wild. And like, I'm, we're going to see the scores later today. Yes. And I'm excited to see them in not a insanely loud environment. <laughs> And actually, speaking of the scories, because I'm I'm so excited. They're just like some of my longest YouTube friends. And so whenever we get together for like conventions and yeah. stuff, we just love to catch up. And we did have some time to do that in some of the lounges on Thursday. But also, um, they got gifted tickets for Disneyland from a Disney event that they did. They were like, oh my God, you and Steven should come to Disneyland with us on Saturday. We're gonna go after we do some stuff in the morning, you know, because yeah. we have magic keys. And I was like, oh, that would be so fun but like the reservations are already uh booked out for our past um because we had actually already had that thought <laughs> yeah we're like oh maybe we should go saturday night and i was like oh this book oh yeah and i guess important context like disneyland's only like four blocks away from where we are <laughs> yeah so we <laughs> it's really close so it's like well we are up here and you know we do have passes but they were booked out, so we had already just, you know, yeah. assumed we wouldn't go and we'd just hang around the hotel and maybe get dinner with some creator friends. Yeah. Or go to downtown Disney. Yeah. Always a good time. Yeah, we talked about doing yeah. Tortilla Joe's. Yep. But anyways, we got reservations last second. Yes! So. We checked and more had opened up, so we are going to go for yep. a little bit this evening with the Scories, which will be nice to have uh, some, like, post-convention time to hang out with them and, like, talk about all the things that we learned and yeah. did. It's very strange to consider 
Disneyland like a less crazy environment. <laughs> That's so true. Yeah. We're gonna go relax at Disneyland. <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll see. You know, I don't think we're not full of energy like we usually are for Disneyland. So we'll yes. see how long we last, but it should be more relaxing than this crazy, you know, hectic go, 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 go. Yeah, I, uh, you know, starting with some lunch right now. So yes, I think we should get down there. All right. We are going to leave the camera up here and uh, go get some lunch and then probably chill a little bit before Disney. Um, so we will catch up with you guys later, probably at Disneyland. Peace. day. What a week. <laughs> we had the best time at Disney. Got to hang out with the Scories and meet up with some of the other creators. It was just such such a good wholesome blast. Yeah, a good end to the week. Yeah. So we're headed back up to our room to get a nice good night's sleep before we go back to the real world tomorrow. So that is going to be it for this vlog. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.